Hey, welcome back everyone to another late night here on the East Coast. Uh, special hey to you Blood Bowl fans out there. This is Blood Bowl 2. We, you know, we played a little bit before. Um, in case you all forgot, it's basically like, you know, fantasy football. Um, so it's very bloody, you know. It's actually a lot more like rugby, I suppose. Uh, only half the time, nobody gets a touchdown. And you just kind of kill each other. It's good. I like it. Uh, I'm not normally a sports guy. Uh, the only other sports game I've enjoyed was like NHL 97 or something way back in the day, you know. But um, the only thing I've ever enjoyed about a sports game was not normally itself, but the career idea. You know, like the league system. Um, Pardon me if I seem a little bit out of breath. Apologies, really bad allergies today. I've had a crazy uh, day at work, very long. Got like two and a half hours of sleep last night, but we're working on it. Uh, just one second, sorry. So way back, like, um, I guess like seven plus years ago or something, like that, uh, about seven years ago, I think, um, I started doing like AARs, a lot of those, and um, I would do like Blood Bowl, one AAR, uh, which is like an after action report. Uh, some of you may know it for like Dwarf Fortress, stuff like that. Uh, like Boat Murdered is one. But anyway, I, um, yeah, I would basically type up how things went uh, because I, did, I didn't really uh, have a great way of recording the video. Um, and it was good, it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of great people joined in for those. Uh, we've had five seasons of Blood Bowl 1 back in the day, so it was very enjoyable. They never usually ran too long. Uh, I think our longest running one was about 15 games, which you can argue, but um, usually there was like a gap of time, you know, because something happened in my life and I never got to finish it, so, you know, whatever, right? Um, point is, I, I love Blood Bowl. I think it's great. I think it's a lot of fun. But the most fun to me is, of course, watching the players sort of come and go and, and seeing how they are. And the Necromantic just got put in the game, uh, which is awesome because they're a very interesting team. So we're going to be going with those guys. Uh, I'm not going to be playing against um, people. Uh, pardon me, everyone. Uh, I will be eventually. But... Um, for now, we're just going to be doing the AI, and I'm going to be sort of walking people through how the game is played. Because, um, sure, some some people there might know how to play Blood Bowl. I'm sure a fair amount do. But a lot of my core viewers don't. So, you know, uh, I think it's a wonderful game, and I think everyone should experience it at least once in their life. Whether you're playing it or watching it or, you know, getting into it, um... I really, really think it is one of the greatest games out there for that. And I highly recommend, uh, if you don't ever want to play the game, which is okay, because I just want to say, normally I, you know, if I really like a game, I recommend, you know, you play it. Uh, Blood Bowl is not a game for everyone. Uh, it's very, there's a lot of RNG, and sometimes things go wrong, you know? Uh, same sort of recommendation as a roguelike. However, there's a bit of a time commitment with Blood Bowl. Usually a match is between 30 minutes to an hour, depending on, you know, if you play against people, depending on the skill level of the player and, you know, how confident they are in um, doing certain decisions. You usually have about two to three minute turn timers. Um, so that, that's sort of how that goes. Um, that said, though, if you do ever watch somebody play Blood Bowl, um, you know... Whether me or somebody else, I do highly recommend you stick through it. Um, you know, it, you're going to find it a lot more rewarding if you watch one person play the same team uh, a long period than you will watch several people play different teams. You know, that's because the progression is what's fun. It's very much like in XCOM. Um, you know, when you have your your guys go through and you have that one guy who does that one thing and then mission after mission he survives but just barely and you're all like waiting till he dies and that's Blood Bowl you know uh, there's a lot of ways to play the game but you can break it down in um, sort of 
three main categories. You have the running game, you have the passing game, and you have the bashing game. Now most people argue there's really only two ways to play, the passing and the running. And you could simplify that even further and say it all comes down to running because you're just getting the ball from A to B. However, oh sorry I got sneeze. Sorry, however, um, there, there are three main types, in my opinion. Uh, the bashing game is trying to kill the enemy team as best you can. Um, or it's actually injuring them, or just injuring them so that their player's off the pit. It's all about swinging the sort of momentum of the game in your favor and putting more of your guys on the pitch than their team. Um, what that allows you to do is generally... You know, a team that's good at bashing is not good at handling the ball. They're not good at taking the balls from, you know, your side to theirs. So, yeah, generally the point of a bashing team is to knock out the majority of the enemy players so it's very easy for you to get your guys across the zone. Um, the general balancing idea is bashy teams tend to be slow. Not always. But they tend to be slow, so it takes them a while to do it. Um, running teams seems pretty standard, you know? You pack up the ball and you run it. Okay, cool. Passing teams are, you pick up the ball, you have people in a bunch of key spots, and you pass to the person that is the most open, and then you run it in. Uh, seems, again, fairly standard. Passing is the most risky, the most complicated and ultimately the most rewarding play style. So for that reason, uh, we are going to be playing the Necromantic now. Hey Origami, hey Zelfus, how you guys doing? Um, but when I do play against players, which I would like to, we are going to be playing High Elves. I personally think they're the second strongest team out there, strongest being Chaos, and they play a very good passing game. So. Again, very enjoyable. My personal favorite team uh, is these little bastards right here, the Skaven. Right now, the the meta, um, I don't know. I, now, I haven't played on the Blood Bowl 2 uh, Open League. And the, the meta changes based on the league you enter in, right? Because people are playing different teams and doing different stuff. Um, so you never, you never know what you're going up against. But generally, an idea. And the thing is, based on the teams in this game, it is fairly bash heavy. There's a lot of, you know, meaty teams. So because of that, Skaven kind of suck because, you know, they can dance around people all day. But um, as great as it is to go with a Skaven team and score and score and score, um, eventually you're going to start losing players. And if you do an extended campaign, um, you're going to be losing people left, right, and center. And while they are cheap to replace, it basically means you don't ever progress in the game. Uh, it'd be like in Pokemon, if every time a Pokemon died, you know, you literally lost them forever. Something like that. Uh, or, or, you know, in, in XCOM, uh, the, the remake of XCOM, um, like XCOM uh, 2 now, and stuff like that, the 2000 plus versions, um, if you lost one of your players, like your, your uh, soldiers, because they have all these skills and abilities. So essentially you just keep pushing yourself back to square one over and over. It, it's not a great idea. If we had like, you know, um, like pro elves, um, even if we brought in people like maybe corn, uh, just a few of the other like low armor, um, sword teams it would bring that up if we brought in you know obviously the shit teams as well any of the stunties the goblins the um the ogres um halflings etc underworld would be awesome but i don't think we'll get that for a while anyway we are going to be playing necromantic for this one though uh for the the ai games if you will i don't know if there's a difficulty slider for the ai but if there is i will jack it up because i'm a very confident blood bowl player uh the nice thing about Necromantic is they give you a a mixed bag of stuff to play with. And that's important because, again, we're going to be playing this as a tutorial game. So we're going to be learning how to play. And most importantly, we're going to be learning 
strategies. And to learn strategies, you need a bunch of sort of mixed characters. And you can argue, oh, but humans, they're sort of, you know, average... No, 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 no. See, having a field full of average players doesn't teach you how to play all the specialized races. So we're going to learn a lot of good things in Necromantic. Um... Oh, let's get a good team name going, shall we, boys? Um, look at some color. This one's quite nice, the red and white. It's gonna be like colonials. Yeah, it was a rough day's office. Um, I got like two and a half hours sleep, and then I didn't get a break today because it was busy and it was fun. This is quite nice as well, the white and blue. Fire orange, not a big fan. I do like the blue a little more. This is important because, I mean, we're going to be staring at this, right? This looks fun. This is kind of like a uh, paranoia overalls type look. That is kind of fun as well. It's hard to say what this is going to look like on the rest of our team, mind you. But that's alright. I think we might go with the... Um... What is this one? The stars? The stars are pretty fun. Um, it's gonna... I think the stars might clash with the rest of our paint scheme, though. So I think maybe just a basic red and white. The clunts? Oh, yeah. The clunts feel sluggers. Good call, Rudy. Team motto? Uh, well, I mean, we can change the team motto at a later point. The team name, you cannot. So go big or go home. Of course... Underworld Ultimates, Undercroft Annihilators, Lost in the Hammed, oh gosh. It's pretty good. Oh, hey. Oh, you know what, actually? Raiders of the Lost Clark. Cl Raiders of the Lost Clunk. Let's just do it. Um, we can pick a bunch of these fun little... That guy's kind of cute, actually. A light bulb zombie. I know or it's this one here. And that is a solid one. That's pretty fun too. This guy is awesome. He's just like, yeah, let's, let's kick ass and take names. I kind of like this one though. It's just hilarious. Where does that appear on our model actually? Ah, there it is right in the very back. Beast Warriors, yeah. Uh, this will be the Cluntsville train station. Oh, I can't do it. Huntsville train st st station. That'll be fine. The world one looks nice. The Badlands, that's kind of orky. We'll save that for our orc game. This looks pretty undead. Your assistant can hire players and staff for it. No. Uh, picking your team composition is going to be super, super, super important. And this is what happened to me yesterday. I, you know, I was looking through the teams and figuring out who we were going to play. And I saw this face, and I'm like, that's borrowed. Am I wrong? That's totally borrowed. But, um... So the Necromantic team... Canonically, what happened is... You know, there, there's all these successful Blood Bowl teams. And, um... The sort of... This guy gets an idea. If we dig up all these dead Blood Bowl players and we resurrect them... Bingo! So that's what happened. Uh, when you play an undead or necromantic, um... Yeah, that's true. No facial hair. You got me there. Um, but when you play undead or necromantic team, you cannot buy an apothecary, which is a double-edged sword. You save money because you're not buying apothecaries, uh, but it also means that you don't have any way... Well, we'll get there. But you don't have a way of re-rolling an injury. So pretty much, if you get one, you're stuck with it. However, you'll notice we click on the zombie here. We have the regeneration ability. If the player suffer, suffers a casualty, uh, you roll d6 for regeneration after the injury roll, and after any apothecary roll, if allowed, we don't get one. On a result of 1 to 3, the player suffers the result of the injury as normal. On a 4 to 6, the player will heal their injury and place in a reserve box. It's a 50-50 chance, right? Um, so basically a 50-50 chance that if you ever do get injured, you're not injured. That, But that also means there's a 50% chance that, oh yeah, you're stuck with that forever and you're probably going to have to get rid of the player or just sort of deal. Uh, it's rough. 
Add to that that the necromantic players are extremely expensive. The werewolf clocks in at 120,000, 110 for the flesh golem, 90,000 for a white. I mean, that's it's pretty hefty. Ghouls are only 70,000, and zombies 40,000. Uh, we have 1 million gold to start out the game and buy all our players. And oh, let's let's talk. Um, the necromantic probably the hardest team to build your starting roster. A lot of teams it's quite easy. You know, you can change it up, but for the most part you know who you want and you're going to get it. For the necromantic, you need all of these. All four of your these are known as positionals. Um, this is a line man. I know they're zombies, but they're just our line men. They're just the guys you sort of throw out there and say, well, if he dies, he dies. Thankfully, zombies are quite hard to kill. Hey, yes, it's me, it's up. So, um, we want four of these, and you can get two, 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 and two of each. But we can't afford it, there's no way. Uh, quick math here, so that's 240. Um, you know, it's 220, so 260, 460. Uh, 180. Uh, so, just, I mean, already it's it's looking, you know. That's oh, this, well, actually, we can. I think we can buy it right now. Can I just quick buy? Yeah. So if we quick buy everybody, we're down 360,000. Got our two ghouls for 20,000. Um, you need 11 players on the pitch. Well, you can have less, but it sucks. Leaves us with uh, ten, sorry, one hundred thousand, which means we can buy one reroll. That's no good. <laughs> That's just not good. Um, a team like Necromantic, you really, really, really do need rerolls. Most teams need rerolls. Necromantic, you want to get about three of them if you can. Um, but if you know, if you can only get two, you can only get two. And I think that might what happened. But one's just not good enough. One. Um, Basically, a re-roll lets you re-roll any die roll once a round. Um, so, you know, if I have one, and on turn two I fuck up something important, I can re-roll it. If turn three something bad happens, I've already used my re-roll. Now, after every half, uh, which is after every eight turns, well, there's eight turns and then the next day is the end of the game, but you do get your re-rolls back. So, no team really needs more than four. Uh, if you can get more than four, you have it, but it kind of bloats your team value. That's going to be an advanced strategy we talk about later. Um, but for the most part, just figure four. It means every other turn, you can make a mistake, essentially. So, um, yes, we definitely want both werewolves. The werewolf is our star player. Uh, we have three different heads for this. We got spiky hair, regular hair, and eye patch. Uh, origami, let me know which one of those you like. I'm going to look at the other guys real quick. Um, these are the whites. <laughs> they're probably going to be our star player early on. Uh, they're just solid. We can start talking about the stats actually as well. I'll uh, look at these heads real quick. That one's pretty fun. But um, So your movement allowance, that is exactly how many tiles you can move every turn. Strength is... Um, a lot of die actions in this game it uses standard Warhammer slash 40k um, die roll, so everything is d6 based. So a three means you have a 50% chance, and it's a bit confusing, right? Because having a three means you have a four up, right? If you roll a four up, so it is a 50% chance to succeed any strength related action. There are modifiers here and there, but for the most part, you can just figure that. Now, what does this mean for us? Well, it means agility 3 is a fun number because it means if you want to pick up the ball, nothing else, no modifiers, just pick the ground, like the ball, and you have a 50% chance to do so. <laughs> Not ideal. Um, that is playing as the, the undead races for you. You'll notice necromantic, though. It's okay because we actually have three guys with agility 3 and two with agility 2. Uh, some other races are not so lucky. So Origami wants the spike. Go ahead and grab that. I guess I could put a space in his name. Do it up. And I think we'll get an eye patch one that's pretty fun. It'll be 
Yes, it's me. Alright. So we're going to want two flesh golems for... I really want to get my, uh, my beefcakes in here. So we have borrowed bullets. Oh, you wanted to be a uh, werewolf, Rudy? Sorry, dude. I thought you wanted to be a white. Either way. Did I fuck up his name, actually? Hang on. I think for a second I, like, I put an extra... Like a capital somewhere in there. Either way. I think Zelfish should be a flush golem as well. I don't know. Between these two is pretty good. Metal Jaw. Or, uh, literally the flint sewn into his head. That's pretty good. I think we'll give him this one. So we'll talk about the abilities that our guys have in a bit. We'll give Rudy this one. It's pretty cool. And, I mean, this guy is pretty solid. I mean, this guy has a mustache. But, uh, nah. Let's see. Who haven't we seen in a while? NY Yanks, for sure. Good guy there. Now, I'm going to do the crazy thing. Most people would recommend when you're building a necromantic team. You, like, again, you want... Yeah, make her feel sounds good. I think he'll be a better ghoul, though. But you really want to capitalize on the fact that agility 3 means you have a 50% chance to pick up the ball. I need to stress that. Those are not great odds. Nothing in Blood Bowl is a great odd. A 1 is always a failure, so, um, you know, essentially the best in the stat you can really have is 5. You can have above 5, but you know what I mean. Uh, like movement, obviously more movement is always fine. And armor value, um, the easiest way to look at armor value is an armor value of 7 is low armor. You're going to die. <laughs> it's very likely if you have an armor value of 7 that someone will take your armor and therefore inflict an injury on you, or at least stun you. An armor value of 8 is seen as sort of medium armor. Um, it's a lot less likely. And an armor value of 9 is seen as sort of crazy armor. You'll notice... We have armor value 8, 8, 9, 8. So we're pretty tanky. This guy is extremely tanky. Um, this guy here, though, the cute little ghoul, armor value 7. So again, most people are probably going to tell you, you want the agility 3 guys. You want the guys that can probably pick up the ball. We're not going to be taking our ghouls, even though they are very, very solid. They're fast, which is nice. We have a lot of sort of slower moving guys. Reason it is they don't have regeneration. If we look at all our other positions, regeneration, 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 and regeneration. Like I said, we don't have an apothecary. So if anything happens to a ghoul, they're dead. I mean, they might not be dead, but they're dead to me. So, we're not going to be grabbing our ghouls right up. Um, totally get some, uh, some zombies going, though. Here, we can have this one be hurt. And um, who else? Spencer. I haven't seen him in a while. Um, this could be good old Grizzillion, of course. Uh, I'm trying to think, man. Jeez, it's been a while. Um, who else do we usually have in here? Um, huh, well, we got Mr. Olmex in chat right now. That's cool. And last but not least, I think we'll do War Games, you know? I'd feel bad. War Games was, was around for a while. Sungin, yeah. Sungif. That's who he was. So it gives me 16,000 so I can buy two rerolls. I'm happy with that. That is good times. So rerolls once you finish um, team creation double in price. So to buy these is going to be 140,000. 
when you think about it, a zombie is only 40,000 to buy. So, it's really rough buying rerolls after this point. Two rerolls is going to be tough. Basically means I can make a mistake once every four turns. <laughs> um, I'll do my best. We should be alright though. So if we go ahead and check out um, our abilities. Why werewolves are so damn good. They are movement 8, which means they are actually quite fast. That's up in the higher tiers of movement in this game. I believe 8 is the uh, second highest. I think there is an armor or a uh, movement 9 for gutter runners. But the yeah, 8 is very, very fast. Strength 3, so their average strength. Average agility, which is nice, you know, because average is good for our team. They are medium armor. Frenzy means. If you push an opponent back and you don't get that knockdown, you do not have a choice. You're just immediately pushed into another block, which is a bit risky. And your opponents can um, use that against you. Oh, good night, Mr. Rudy. But, you know, uh, on a murder beast, like a werewolf, it's good. And claw. Um, any armor roll of eight or more after modifications automatically breaks armor. Essentially, claw means... If you have medium or heavy armor, it treats you as if you have light armor. Claw is what makes Chaos overpowered, in my opinion. It's stupid. And you only have access to it through mutations, except for the very rare, very rare um, positional. Like, werewolves are one of them. Um, I think the, the werewolves for the... Um, the Norse team werewolves, do they have claw? I'm not sure they do. They might. Their yetis do, I think, though. Point is, it's it's quite rare. Uh, and it is just a stupid good. It just means, like, doesn't matter how strong you are. You, you know, at least, same odds I can murder anybody else. If you look at the flesh golem here, we have regeneration, which is piku. Uh, thick skull. Uh, treats a roll of 8 on the injury table after any modifiers have been applied as a stunned rather than KO. Essentially, um, it's just one less chance that this guy is going to be knocked out of a round, which is very nice. Uh, how injuries work is if you hit an opponent, like when you knock them down, they fall. And they can just stand right back up next turn, but they lose two of their movement. That's it. Um, however, you also roll an armor roll. Uh, like when you've, you know, hit them. If you exceed their armor with your roll, which I believe is a d6, you roll add your strength. So if you have three strength, someone has eight armor, you need the roll of five or a six to break the armor roll. If you do that, then you roll on the injury table, which I believe is 2d6. Um, or is it d6 plus strength? Shit. I can't remember. Point is, you know, it rolls. Odds are you're probably going to stun somebody, uh, which just means they're down for two turns. You know, So one turn they can't do anything, the next turn they can stand up as normal. However, you could KO them, which happens as well. When someone is KO'd, they are knocked out of the match, um, and they have a chance to come back every time a drive ends, which is whenever a touchdown is scored or half the match is over. Thick Skull means you will be stunned instead of KO'd. It's nice, you know? Um, <laughs> doesn't help against like actual injuries, which happens if you roll higher than a KO. But hey, it's something. Uh, and Stand Firm is an interesting ability. I forgot to look at that one. Um, stand Firm is you may choose not to be pushed back. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know, sometimes they want to like, ah, oh, you know... We've got this flesh golem here, and if I move him to the like left, then I can blitz down here, and it's like, no, no, you're not moving me, son. Um, it's a useful ability. And here is probably the best ability in the game, is block. Uh, we're going to talk about that when we get to actual combat. No, I guess I can do it now. So when you throw a tackle on block, uh, when you attack them, if you will, there are four results. Uh, there are two sides that are push results, which you just push them, uh, and you can pick the direction, that's it. One of them is a attacker down, which means, you know, if you 
pick that. You've rolled a one, and your guy goes down. Uh, one of them is a defender down, which is just a... Um, I forget what it's called, like a bash or something. Like that point is, like, it's just a guaranteed knock the enemy down. That's if you roll a six. And then there is a both down, which both you and your opponent go down. However, if you have block, then anyone with block is not affected by that. And then there's a defender stumbles, which is um, you knock them down, but if they have dodge, they are, they're pushed. So the cool thing is, block essentially is the greatest skill in the game because, uh, you know, on a d6, six side, 17% chance per side. It gives you a 17% chance to A, not be knocked down. So it's a defensive skill, and B, 17% chance to knock somebody down, which, you know, it's an offensive skill. It's amazing. Now, obviously, block counters another block out, which is kind of why dwarves are really, really good in the beginning, because they have a lot of people block and nobody else does. But later on in the game, everybody else gets block, because it's the best skill, and block is like nukes, you know? If nobody has it, it doesn't matter. But once somebody gets it, everybody needs it. That's just kind of how it goes. I'm sorry for the rambling guys. It's just sort of the get that um, understanding. So when we get into this, it's going to be pretty QL. Let's go ahead and find our Clintsville Sluggers. I will join a league here. We're going to do a solo league, like I said. Uh, we're going to do, be doing multiplayer against people later once we've got the tutorial part things done and we sort of understand how the game's going. Uh, and then we'll probably be playing High Elves, I think. Uh, I personally enjoy playing a passing game, and they're pretty strong, so. It's one of those things, uh, nice thing about High Elves. Oh, what do you see? Let's see, what do we want to do here? Just do a cup, eight teams. I mean, that sounds fun. Just do a, just eight teams, you know? See, see who wins. All right. So when you play a game in Blood Bowl, it's um, nice to look at your opponent's team. So you're up against. Playing Dark Elves? Of course we are. Alright, well Dark Elves are one of the better teams out there. So, like in the beginning, you know. They're just a very solid team throughout. Most of the Elf teams are. Uh, reason being, Elf teams have very high stats. They're expensive, right? You'll see here player values of 100,000, 80,000, 70, 70, 70. So their, their basic line man is 70,000, where ours is 40,000. But you'll notice, hey, 100,000, that's not as expensive as 120. Oh, yeah. They do have witch elves, though, which are 120. Um, point is, elf teams are always good because they have very high stats. When you put skills on stats, it's disgusting. Unlike a dwarf team, very low stats, and then is shit because... Well, not shit, but they're not as good late game because they already have the skills in the beginning, and then you just get other skills, but none of the other skills are as good, and then, yeah, downhill from there. Some of the day stats are the most important thing. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and play our match. Let's see how we do. So our, um, the enemy team is a little bit better than us, a um, little bit better, air quotes. They have a higher team value, uh, which gives our team 20,000 in petty cash, because that's the difference between our team, 20 points. Wow, magic, colleagues of magic, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's a freaking wizard. Unfortunately, 20,000 petty cash is not enough to buy anything like a bribe or Igor. Or, wow, Count Luther von Drakenberg. Unfortunately, we just can't can't afford any of these great guys. So that's okay. We're not going to. Yeah, so our guys still battling allergies here. It's one of those things, like, I was thinking about not doing Blood Bowl tonight because of allergies, but I've been wanting to do it for so long, it's like do it anyway and I'm sorry like do you know what I mean I'm sorry but that's how she be welcome back Blood Bowl fans play 
Spiky Golf is the opposing team here. We're on their home stadium. The Vicious Blades. I don't know what Spiky Golf is, man. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you guys look pretty cool. Bunch of Vulcans wearing tank tops. That's impressive. Versus, oh yes! The Cluntsville Sluggers. Look at us. Oh, I can't wait till our whites put those helmets on and look like real men. Yeah. Yeah. There's Borrowed. Just at the back. Just, hey! Oh, coin toss. That's the ref. In case you were wondering. What do we get? Okay, so our opponent won the toss. We are in defense, which is odd. So they're going to be kicking to... Um, no, we'll be kicking. And then trying to stop them from coming. So that's, that's about standard. So here... Hang on, let me... Can I change this camera angle to... Oh. Okay, don't hit alt. I think I crashed the game. I'm not joking. Okay, never mind. Is alt pause? Oh, yeah. Alt's the pause button. That's weird. Uh, in the original game, alt was... Um... Hmm. Alt was how you change the camera. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we can do it like this. I'm just going to zoom out so we can talk about strategy real quick. Um, basic thing in this game... We're, like, we're going to set up and then they set up, I believe, because we're the defense. But um, there, there's two ways to go about stopping an opponent. There is, like, actual physically blocking them, and then there's screening. Uh, it's known as basing, though, because, you know, these are sort of supposed to be, like, figures on a miniatures table. It would be like this. I would literally touch them. Okay? Um, but I could also put it over here. Because any of these squares, they're touching. So that means if he wants to um, run past me, he has to dodge out or he has to punch me in the face. And if he punches me in the face, he can't run past me. So the interesting thing is, I'm just going to go ahead and set up real quick and we can talk about that after. Uh, I want my werewolves on the sides for blitzies. Got my whites here. Oh yeah, I need two back actually for the kick, I think. Something like this should be good. Um, but we are going to play fairly aggressive. They're a lot better than we are, so we're hopefully trying to murder them. So the idea is, if you base somebody, um, there's sort of this area of influence around you that they have to either dodge or hit you. So the cool thing about set, um, Blood Bowl is you are you're in this interesting position where you choose when the enemy hits you because you can, you can't move an attack unless you use a blitz action which you get once per turn so once per turn you can move and attack somebody but aside from that you can only hit them if they're standing beside you at the start of your turn so you choose when the enemy is allowed to attack you which i think is really interesting so a large part of this game is about reducing risk in many ways. Alright. That was a bit silly on their part, I think. Because we're just going to overpower the line and push backwards. Uh, we're going to kick about here. We don't have the kick Fortunately, It could scatter in any direction a fair amount. Oh god, zombie kick. Perfect defense. Nice. Clemsville Sluggers can be set up again in, in another legal defense. So, Voracious Blades must remain in previously chosen setup. Every time you do a kickoff, uh, some random event happens. We got one that helps us, which is nice. Um, well, we know these guys aren't here, so we're just going to move one step closer. That's fine. Bring you a little closer as well. Okay. When playing against elf teams, it's useful to have somebody in the back. Uh, but our zombies aren't really fast enough to do anything. I think I'd, I'd rather have him here for now. So that is a blitzer. That is a lineman. Blitzer. 
I would much rather... This is nice. This is very nice. Okay. So that's fine with me. Uh, but the other idea, sorry, is screening. And screening sort of... Um, the idea that, again, to get around me, you either have to run all the way around my character, or you have to run through it, which ideally you don't run through it. So if you sort of arrange people in a grid-like pattern, like say you do something like this, it's now really hard for them to get here because they would have to go either all the way around or they would have to somehow like knock one of these guys out and then through, you know? So, um, but screening is something you generally only do when you're uh, a weaker race. We are the stronger one in this matchup. So we're going to try and do some dirty things. So the offense does go first, which is fine, which means they're going to throw out the first set of blocks. So what they're trying to do is, because we have so many high strength characters here with the flesh golems, they have to outnumber us, essentially, in order to have favorable chances of tackling a zombie, just because our guys are so strong. Just the flesh golems, that is. The, um... Zombies are just as regular strong as the uh, the Dark Elves. Because Dark Elves are, again, they're quite good. They're all an elf team. They're very much like Tolkien Elves. You know, they're, they're one of the stronger races. They all have um, four agility, which is nice. Gives them a very high chance of doing things. That was a bit silly. This is a bit crazy. Is he going up and around? So he's blitzed, which means he can move now that he's done that. So I don't know why he blitzed. And Boro just tripped an elf. He tried to dodge. Nicely done! So if any of your characters knocked over on your team for any reason, that is a turnover. So I, I don't know where this guy... He was here and he tried to run away. I guess he was just terrified at Boro, and Boro just kicked him. Just tripped him. Just stuck his, you know, ten-foot leg out. Attacking a blitzer is a bit of a silly idea. Uh, oh, yes. There's no way for me to do that. Unless... Okay. So, stand this guy up first. Sorry, uh, guys, I keep forgetting... Um, Blood Bowl changed its control scheme from 1 to 2, and I still have to get used to that. So sometimes you'll see me have trouble interacting with some of the characters. So we stood this zombie up, so we now have a, a fair strength advantage. <sighs> to attack with the Flesh Glam. Alright, let's, let's move some zombies up. Dodge. Huh? Where's this one? Oh shit, that guy. True, true. Alright, let's take this guy out first then. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't quite get him. So we are going to push him over here though. And I'll follow. And we're still, you know, surrounding the guy, so it's fine. Gonna need another zombie over there. Get you over here, Mr. Zombie. So we're going to base them because we want them to... Oh, shit. Come on. Again, fuck, I hate these new controls. I forgot how much I hated them. Yeah, okay, hang on. I need to see if there's a way to change them because they drive me nuts. Because it's, it's trying to do Blood Bowl 1 controls, but it doesn't do them properly. So how do I do it this way? Just right click. Okay, that's fine. So things we want to do. Uh, we definitely want to get a blitz onto this guy. So we'll put the white up here. We're going to blitz in this direction. Potentially crowd surf. That is a block I would like to do at some point. This is a guy I would like to take out. Excellent. So we're going to knock this guy out then. We're going to run a zombie... I really want one touching this guy here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'll be good. We are going to bring our werewolf. Uh, maybe we'll keep him around the outside, actually. Because we're going to want to bring him over to this side, eventually. And we'll park our white. Um, probably... You know, I'm fine, do I'm fine doing it something like this and just sort of keeping these guys a little bit tied up. So we get our blitz with our good old-fashioned werewolf. Good luck there, Origami. Knocked him out, nice. And now we can touch the ball carrier. And we'll throw a just a little shitty block on this guy. Nice, we got him. Uh, I would like to push this guy up in this way, so he's still touching the flesh golem. Oh shit! Super zombie! Okay, nice stun. So Spencer has knocked him out for two rounds. That's quite. Uh, change mine. I'm gonna move. Move up here. Feel fairly safe doing that. Now the thing is with elves, they are all four agility. Which means, you know, they have a three up chance to. Basically, it means, you know, they have a very good odds of not. Um, yeah, good luck with that. I don't know why I didn't push me here. With, with not failing a dodge roll. And a lot of them do eventually get dodge or come with dodge or etc. So it's very hard to stop these guys from running through just entire lines of your deeds. So anything you can do to prevent that, it's good times. Okay, nice. Yank's about to get knocked down. Should be good though. Yeah, he's 8 armor. Oh, they're knocking down our flesh golem. Oh no, that was a zombie. Fair. So they're going to try and blitz over the right side. Little bit of a trip there, War Games. Nicely done. Okay, well, this isn't actually that bad for us. So. I'm going to get a zombie up here to give an assist. So we can get a two-die block on this guy. Have Origami try and tear him up. Nice to done. Head over here. Okay, so we have freed up our white now. Means we can bring him in over here. Oh god. Didn't realize I had two going for it. So we're probably gonna fall here. No, we got lucky. Oh, we got really lucky there actually. Alright. Flesh golem. Let's come park it over in this area. Flesh golems are quite slow. Um What can you do? That is gonna give us an extra die. Let's go ahead and stead yanks up. Stand our zombie up. So, ideal strategy right now. Uh, we need another zombie in this area to cage them in. That is a two die. So here would be nice. Um, ideal would be sort of push this guy back and then blitz in with the werewolf would be great. We're going to see if we can do that. So that is a push. Okay, his elf is knocking him over. Cool. We're going to grab our werewolf here. And I can't quite reach him, eh? If I knock this guy down, I can. But if I push him back, I can't. Ah, <sighs> oh well, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Um... Do I re-roll here, or do I just knock them both down? I'll just knock them both down, that's fine. We're still in an okay place, and we got a werewolf in the back, so we can blitz the runner if he takes off. I would have liked to have thrown a few more blocks out there, but... Okay, so they're going to hit the white. No? They should. They don't have a blitzer, but still... And they don't really have a good way of taking out the flesh golems, uh, which is nice. 
Yeah, they're using their blitz on a zombie, which, I mean, that's fine. Punch Herpy all you want, that's exactly why we have these guys. Oh god, no! KO'd! That's not great. Okay, well, Herpy's being knocked off the pitch. That was pretty lucky. Zombies have 8 armor, which is pretty solid. Again, that's sort of like a medium range. Um, but so do all Dark Elves. So... Yeah, this this is a really stupid move here. Moving the ball carrier there, they don't. I don't know why that was done. Because uh, again, he's right beside the werewolf. I'm just gonna blitz. All right. Well, we'll do the um, the obvious thing. Stay in Grazilian up here. Okay. Sure. All right. I'm gonna reroll that. Okay, Frenzy, which means we get another chance to block. I'm gonna... I'll just push him straight. That'll be fine. Fuck. That's fine. At least the ball's on the ground, but there goes our werewolf. I completely forgot the werewolves are three strength. I thought they were four, so I thought I had a two die block. That was a massive misplay on my part. That's okay. Still hanging in there. Alright, like, I can still attack that guy. Uh, I, man, I really don't know what these guys are doing, to be honest with you. This is a blitzer here. That's a blitzer. So the safe thing to do is to stand up the werewolf. Let's just go for a couple easy blocks here. Whenever White do it, is he also is blocked? It makes it a little safer. Oh, there you go. That's cool. That's freed up our zombie, which is nice. We can now use our zombie be support for this assist if I need to blitz with the werewolf, which I very much want to. Um, I would love to go for it here. That gives me a fair rate. I mean, 83% chance. That's good, good odds to step over. No, you stupid Zambo! Um, yeah, I'm going to use a reroll on that because I need this guy to not be there. 83% chance not to fall over. Thanks. That was a very sad reroll on my part. So let's get the two die blitz going. See if yes, it's me can tear them up. Hmm. See, this is annoying because if I push them in any direction, basically I'm giving them more assists and I'm losing assists. That's shitty. Oh well. So yeah, defender down or attack down. Nothing I could do there. Read this guy up. Actually, he's probably gonna score. Two turns time. I see. I don't know why he did that. If this guy had stood over here and tied the zombies up, I had no way of stopping him. Oh, there we go. Works for me. But it's our turn, so that helped. Thankfully, we're both teams are having really bad luck. Which is nice. Okay. I want that. Let's get some zombies over here so I have a few assists. Let's see if we can knock them over this time, huh? No. Of course not. Uh, we're gonna push him left because then I still get a assist over here. There we go. That helps a shitload. Knock this guy down. Okay, the ball's gonna scatter. That's fine. I'm just gonna leave that there. 
We need to make a few cheeky blocks here. That worked out. Uh, yeah, let's time up. Nice. Good job, Spencer. Stunned him. Okay. Ooh, I'd like this guy down. Oh shit. Okay, we'll just push him then. Uh, we're gonna stay here. That's okay. Just a nice little roadblock. I wanna push one of those guys back. Uh, we need this werewolf freed up. We need this guy for damn sure as well. Which means we need one of these whites. That's rough. Alright. Nice. I'm gonna knock him back. Oh, Zelfus. The clap. See, we're having bad luck. We're not breaking anybody's armor. Um, which is fine, but basically it's putting us um, at a bit of a disadvantage. And that's just a Dark Elf thing. Again, they're very strong. Oh my god. Her those Yanks just fisted him. That was brutal. Well, actually, that amount of stuns really does help, though. Uh, so, let's see. To dodge, 67%. That's pretty good. Those are pretty good odds. I don't really want to fight this guy because I want to move my werewolf. So I want him here. 67 to pick up. And then if I could get him over here, I'd feel pretty good. Well, let's try it. It's a couple of risky rolls. Yeah, there you go. Origami just dropped the ball, literally. But that's okay. He tried. At least the ball's protected. That's the main thing. This guy might try and pick it up, but I wouldn't if I were the computer. Hey, yeah, he is. Uh, okay, so he gets a minus one chance to pick up because he's in a tackle zone here. Okay, use this reroll on it, and there it is. Yeah. Again, I, I don't. Some players would have done that. Don't get me wrong, but the majority would have realized that was a bit silly. Well, let's take advantage of the fact that we massively outnumber them for a second here. Um. I think I would like. Yes, I think I would like it this way. Origami. That's nice, yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Origami, just tear him up. Stunned. Hey, anything, anything is something. Okay, so we want to get a Zambi around this way here. So now we can go potentially pick up the ball. Is there anything more I want to do? Yes, I want to move our white over here. I want Yanks a little bit closer to the action here. If I could. I would love Yanks somewhere. I'd love Yanks to have the ball. To be honest. Like we've tied up a large amount of these guys here with just the, the flesh golem and the white. I guess we can stay in Grizzly. We still do have a blitz action. Uh, I think I might like to, if we could blitz this line man. Uh, there's an option. That is definitely an option. It's asking a couple rolls though. All right, well. Let's get you over here for now. Definitely want Zelfus here. We want to have a good old War Games do a fairly sizable punch to this guy. We need... Actually, if you could back our white up up here, there's no way to get there. Just put Spencer here-ish, I think. Hang on to him. Okay. It's tough. Do we do this block or do we go for the ball? I mean, you gotta go for the ball. It's in a bad spot right now. Um, 
We don't go for the pickup. Let's just go for the, the blitz first and figure out where we are. Just figure out where... Alright. This is risky, but... Okay, we're fine. That's good news. I'd like to have Boro do a punch. I would love to have you do a punch. Let's go ahead and War Games do it. Oh, fucking hell. Never mind. Good job, War Games. That's okay, though. We still got a fairly alright cage around him. This guy's not... Like, I mean, he can dodge out, but if he dodges out, he's got to do, like, two dodges to get anywhere. And we got two turns to score. Bullshit. Bullshit, you make... Yeah, I was going to say Trying for like three dodges there. Uh, one, two, yeah. Good job, Origami. Oh, that wasn't Origami, that was, uh, yes, it's me. He had the eye patch. Alright, well, this is where we do crazy shit. Because again, we got two turns. But two turns doesn't mean out of the game. Two turns means I like to do crazy shit. We go, Zelfus punch this guy. Yeah. Okay. So again, when you don't have any rerolls left, and this is why two is important, it, it makes everything really scary. It makes doing crazy plays uh, silly, but at the same time, sometimes they work out, and then that's good. We still have uh, Yanks over here. I would really, you know what? If I could get Yanks up here. I mean, I kind of want to tie this shit up, right? Am I going to use a Blitz this turn? Because Yanks would be a good choice for it if I don't. Uh, blitzer, Blitzer, Blitzer. Yeah, none, none of these guys are good targets. I can't get the assist because he's like surrounded. Yeah, I can't get you anywhere. Okay, let's get you close to the ball just in case things go south. Because they might. They they can always go south. Oh, I'm not trying to secure the ball. Don't worry, game. Okay, I'm gonna get a two die block on this guy. That'd be nice. There's a chance I fuck this up and... Oh, nice. Okay, that helps a lot. We're gonna stay here. Nice. Okay. Things are a lot less scary. So here's the crazy strat. Number one, we need to pick the ball up. That is a pickup. So, either I run it down with... Yes, it's me here. Or I do a past origami. Which, I mean, 67% chance to pass, 67% chance to catch, and then I run it straight down. Uh, that's a guaranteed. I like, I mean, we got a touchdown for sure if that happens. If I run it up with yes, it's me, what happens? I can make it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can make it with two go for it, <laughs> which is not ideal. Oh well. well, we'll do it. It's a little bit less risky. I could come in here for a blitz on this guy. Uh, if I blitz him though, I really want to be blitzing him straight down. Like this. Uh, that way I push him into the zombie so I still have an assist afterwards. Alright, good luck Origami. Yeah, see that's why we did that. Let's be frenzy, we still have an assist. Okay, so I didn't get it and that's okay. Uh, I can still use this zombie, though, Spencer, to get a fair block on this guy. Eh, well, it happens. I'm going to push this guy and knock them further back. We're going to stay here. We're going to be freed up. I don't think these... Like, I don't want to block with these guys. It's risky as hell. But also, like, I don't want to move them because these 
the uh, Borrowed over here, Grizzillion and Rudy are just tying up their entire team, basically. So. I'm surprised he didn't blitz and try and hit the ball carrier, I'll be honest. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> nice. Good job, Grizzillion. You're holding your own in the middle of them all. Good times. Well, here is the thing. Uh, we can get a touchdown if I can get 283%. Uh, you know, that's a thing. Uh, granted, we still have to dodge, so I need to set up something like this, actually. on origami. I need this. Nice. Good job, dude. And we try it with guess it's me. I mean, this is risky, right? The other thing, too, like, if I was ballsy, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Uh, yes. Yeah. You just, you want to try and, like, knock a few more of them out of the game. KO'd! Nice. So he might not be on the pitch. That'll be nice. He might, though. Um, this is pretty safe here. Odds of a double skull were pretty low. Again, it's risky throwing out blocks. But you want to because if you don't, like... I don't know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained type deal. And it's like, right now, we're still not winning, even if we get this touchdown, which again, 283% chance. 87. Ah, oh, fuck it! Right on the last classic fucking Yanks. So it's a tie still. Oh, yes, it's me, sorry. Well, that's good. And that's why we threw those blocks out. We still gotta somehow score next eight turns. Well, their guy we knocked out is back up, and classic, our zombie's still down. Oh no, he got up! Run, team! Alright, so we're kicking off this time, which means we get to be aggressive, which is nice. So let's look at their lineup, hey? Uh, the weak line is gonna be... Well, the runner's lower armor, it's AV7. So we're probably going to be blitzing on this side here. I think that will be a thing. Yeah. Actually, I, I guess we got to keep one werewolf back to pick the damn thing up, right? Because nobody else can really do that. Um... I mean, it, like, is this actually their line? Are they doing Because I should be able to block this down fairly easily. Uh, you want the flesh golems in the middle to provide massive amounts of bonus strength. Yeah, I mean, that works. That's a line man, that's a blitzer, that works. I don't need this middle zombie here at all. Pull him over here, because we're definitely going to be grab ball, make left if we can. Oh, that's good. Blitz. So defense starts their drive a fraction of a second. Yeah, so they can all like move all their characters, which really sucks for us, of course. They can't move any other guys that are touching ours, but still, it. Yeah. As you can see, this is pretty, uh, pretty bad for us. It means our defense starts in our side, which we're already at a disadvantage against the elves. Necromantic are a team that are not very good out of the gate, but um, with a little bit of development, they can get there. Yep, and so. It's not even their turn yet, and they're already getting to uh, hit our guy and knock down a werewolf. 
And the ball is as far in the back as it could ever be. Fucking hell. That's pretty bad luck. Alright, well, let's do the the obvious blocks. Let's punch some people in the face. Okay, we're gonna have the zombie step up to this guy. Okay, nice. We got Rudy to push one down. Oh, that looked meaty. Alright. Let's try and get some uh, support over here, I suppose. Yeah, there's too many of them over there. Their lineman, Zelfus, try and punch him. Excellent. Oh, the clap right there. Nice. Okay, well, that buys us a little bit of time, which means I can pull my zombie. You know what, actually, uh, since I got that, I'm going to take the zombie all the way back. Hmm, I don't really want to use a go for it right now. But I really do want more support here. I, uh, we'll go tie this guy up. That'll be useful. Now, here's the annoying thing, right? Again, I I do need to pick up the ball still, but we got all this bullshit. Is that... It's only a one-die block. If I push him down, though, we do... Um, at least get that going for us. They really put us on the back pedal here, uh, which sucks. I think, I think we do this and we hope for a frenzy. Nice, okay. That helps a lot. Two die block, that's a down. Okay. So yes, it's me got that guy. And we can still run because we did blitz there, so we'll bring him back towards the ball. These guys are still tied up. That is really good. Um I can't really make a good block here, so I'm not going to. I'll just go ahead and try and pick the ball up. And bring it. Uh, the best place for the ball is here, actually. Because these guys are running pretty far. Okay, Origami's got the ball. That's nice. Something went in our favor there. I uh, wouldn't have these dickheads. But it's like a 1 in 6 chance it doesn't work. It's tough, you know? Whatever. That's fine. That's actually fine. Uh, I will... I will stay. That's fine. I'm good with that. He's still locked out. Nice. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that turn of events. It was a rough first turn, but we pulled it around. And that's Blood Bowl, baby. You know, it's, uh, it's a lot of getting shit on. But the nice thing about Blood Bowl is, like, you, you have to remember both teams are getting shit on. It's just confirmation bias. Sometimes you do get really unlucky, but end of the day, you know, it, more or less, both teams have a lot of bad things happen. If this zombie goes down, I'm going to be sad. I had a feeling that was a good punch. Alright. Okay, so they're slowly pushing the line back in. Still looks like the left is the safest place to go, though. Uh, I don't know why he parked that there. Because I can... I can abuse that. Question is, how do I want to use that? I think I want to abuse it like this. How's that a one die? I got. How is that a one die? Two guys assisting. 
Huh, that's weird. What if I come from this side? Is that a one die? One assist, two assist. This cancels out, so it's a plus one. I don't know why these zombies don't like count for some reason. It's pretty buggy actually. Oh well. Um Let's start doing the safe thing here. Getting our little warwolf a little further up. But picking up the ball with your werewolves and your whites, which again they're the only characters that can really do it, is Hey, they're also your best fighters. I mean, technically the Flesh Golem is, right? He's got the most health. Um, but it's not exactly the same thing. So we're putting the zombies up, like, they're literally punching bags. We just have them so they can get in the trouble. That's a Blitzer, which is annoying. Let's, let's go. So, we can pull the Flesh Golem back. For sure, murder these guys. Uh, I think that's not the smart play. The smart play is probably to put the flesh golem about here. Yeah, start building our cage. It's going to be very hard for them to get into it now. Get Rudy over here. All right, we'll, we'll play defensive. It is definitely the smart way to go about it. I really, I really want to do that. You guys know I want to do that. Ah, uh, because, like, blitzing with a werewolf is just good times, right? Oh, we can come in this way. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. Hang on. Let's get a white to do it, actually. In? <sighs> no. Um... So we want to white to block these two guys. We want our flesh golem here. I would love to bring him into the party. Get him close to the cage. It's probably the safe thing to do. Uh, they're going to punch this guy down and then all these guys are going to be free. I think we're going to try and step our flesh golem here. Nice. reason is we want to tie all of these guys up. So it's very hard for them to get in. I really think I need this white to uh, lock these guys down here. So. What the fuck? How did I. Oh shit, my bad. No, no, that's fine. That's annoying that he got stunned, but I didn't even realize um, I clicked. No, wait. Where was I before? I thought it was here. Oh yeah, yeah. I see what I did. That was my bad. That was uh that wasn't a misclick. That was I did not realize the tile I was moving into. I intentionally clicked on that tile. Oh well. Not the end of the world. It does mean this guy is gonna dodge out of a um and another guy dodge out of a minus What the fuck? You guys have no idea the odds of that happening. Oh well. And then there you go. Then he rolls really shitty. But yeah, the, the odds of them making those is insane. Um, so that is a 30% chance, then another 30% chance, and then rolling the two ones, I mean, that's like a... What? 21? No, it would be less than that to roll two of them, so it's something like an 8%. Pretty low odds, anyway. But again, they got really lucky, really lucky, and then things uh, thankfully worked out for us in the end. So if I frenzy this way, I can actually crowd surf this guy, which I would love to do. Um, crowd surfing is fun. So if I went here, hmm, we can start moving our cage around, that's for damn sure. Let's go ahead and have a zombie push this guy, see what happens. That's nice. Uh, I will follow, yeah. Perfect. So that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and stand everybody up first. We're tying up a lot of people right now. Um, I actually want my white to... Probably... I would love to stand here and again, tie them up even further. 
No, that's what the zombies are for, right? Come on, bull neck. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to risk it. Go for it there. I will tie this single guy up though. All right. So I have a warwolf, and he wants to do warwolfy things. Uh, I really want to do that. Well, if, okay, but if if I surf this way. Park a zombie. So you push him here. If I park a zombie here, we have very, very good odds to, if I don't kill this guy outright, to push him into the stands. Uh, which will cause the crowd to, like, insta give him, pretty much. So we'll go for that one. Oh, fuck. What are the odds, eh? Uh, do I want to use a reroll on that? I. No, but I'm going to. Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit. That's annoying. Oh, shit, I am going to have to push him this way then. Didn't work as expected. Um. Hmm. Things got a little annoying right now. I can run up here. I mean, they're all going to be able to catch me if I do. Let's see what happens if I attack with Zelfus here. Okay, I can push. That's nice, yeah. Push the zombie. Push him down. Follow. Just tie the fuck out of them. Okay. So, I really would love to... Be a little less dangerous. No, annoyingly I have to I have to do it this way. Oh well. This is not how I want to move up the pitch, but it is how I have to move up the pitch. This guy's gonna blitz around. It's pretty safe here. Doesn't matter. We're knocking about it anyway. Yeah, that's one guy off. I guess I keep forgetting that you can knock them sideways. I always forget them. That's why sidestep so damn good. Okay, I don't know why this guy went this way. This guy's blitzing, maybe. No, they're just tying me up. I mean, that's a one dot. Wow, okay. I was gonna say, that's pretty lucky, but of course it was, you know. What the fuck, video games? Alright. Well, there you go. We've. We haven't lost, but we pretty much lost. This random bullshit luck. Classic Blood Bowl. So who's doing the push? You? That was dumb. Okay, that's good. So yeah, they're all going to be able to defend this guy now. Oh, Gazillion's injured. Regeneration? Nice bet. Yeah, regen happened. That's nice. So what we need to have happen here, I think we can make it with Yes, It's Me with a go for it. At best, that knocks the guy out. That's not really solving the problem. See, what's crazy is, like, the AI just throws a billion blocks and gets really lucky. Which is fine, but it's like, when you play against other people, like, blocks are... What the fuck? Blocks aren't as common. Yeah, so I can take this guy out, if need be. Which, believe me, I need be, so... Stand up the werewolf. So I need a blitz 100% for this guy. That's not a question. The question is, how do I get there? The answer is... I don't know. Ah, uh, right. So I have to dodge. So you got to be the guy who punches this guy. Fuck me, eh? Alright. Okay. 
Which means you got to be the guy that... What? Like, okay, I was going to say, for some reason I'm not getting the assist from the zombie here. I don't know why that is. It's a bit random. That really fucks me up, actually. Um, because I need you to attack that one, so... Okay, that's nice. That's a down, anyway. I will follow. That's really good. Again, that's risky. We'll hold on to that move. Let's get this attack out of the way. That's nice. Yes, please follow. Please injure something. Maybe. No. Only get stunned. Oh well. It's okay. So, right now, we need Rudy to play it safe anyway. Because that's a one die block, right? I can't see. Yeah, it is. So, to play it safe, I need Rudy here. Would have been a lot smarter to have Rudy make the block. I fucked that up a little bit, but that's okay. Um. I really fucked that up. Because I, I gotta do it this way to make it fucking even remotely safe. But that's an 83% chance. Well, fuck. Gotta do it. Come on, yes, it's me. Do me proud. Oh, you did me proud. I'm proud. I'm so proud. Yes! Oh, and you got an injure. Thank you. Fuck you with your smash knee. That's what you get, son. 2 SPP for that. Do we try and pick up the ball? Yeah. Nice! We got the ball. That's great. So try for a very insane bash all these guys down. Go for a uh, pass. Which, of course, I will. Uh, absolutely. I need this to work. I don't need this to work. That was a lie. I want that to work. Definitely want to follow. Tying him up, we freed up a white again. And whites are pretty much our star players at this point. Uh, we're not going to attack any of these guys. They are very easily going to be get getting down here. That's not a question. Question is... No, I'm going to force them to hit me. I mean, they can just dodge, but I'm going to force them to at least think about it. There's no way this guy gets out. He ain't dodging our shit, son. This guy oh, yes! Zelf is with the trip! Thank you. They're going to re-roll that, though, for sure. Yep. Zelf is tripping again! Oh, fuck it. Okay, he's got a 1 in 6 chance. Yeah. I guess he got 2 in 6. He is a blitzer. Um, this is fine, though. I got 2 chances to knock that guy out. Please do another, like, really risky dodge. I know you're an elf, so there's no such thing, but please do anyway. Like, just figure something out. Invent a way to... Oh, good. That was a good play. I can totally see why you do that. I don't like you for it, but... Alright. We got a few nice options, actually, to hit people. Ah, uh, beep beep. No, no, no. Left side's still the safe side. Uh, so. What is the way I want to do this? Well, let's worry about the ball carrier first, right? Yeah, we're going to use our blitz axe. I don't... I don't have to blitz. I have to blitz, because I want to do a pass. Alright. If we blitz anyway, it gives us a second chance. So, there's that. Let's go ahead and have Borrowed here punch this guy in the face. Big punch. Yeah, have fun uh, sleeping with the crowd, dick. That's what you get. Awesome. Alright, so... Zombie number two. I really want over here so I can make a two die block. Come on, War Games. Herpy. Smash face. Face is good, smash is better. Nice. Push it here. 
So that's the beginning of our cage. Right here. Okay, this is the smart play right here, uh, but we're not going to do it just yet. We need to do the safe play, which is blitzing this guy. Okay, both down. So yeah, we, we didn't get it, sadly. Uh, that's okay. Follow. That is okay. Okay, one more chance here. Fuck me. Um, well, that was really bad luck. Really bad luck. Oh well. Um, well, I really want, I mean, I want to yanks to block this guy. That would have been, again, the smart and the safe play, but we got fucked, so that's okay. So these two guys are going to come kill this guy. That is not a question. Um, we're not out of the game. It's just this is a very tough position because we did have a few bad rolls there. We're slowly whittling them down, though. This guy's just going to make an obvious block. Of course he gets a one. <laughs> Fuck, man. Like, like a 17% chance to every time. Uh, that's... yeah, sure. You're not gonna pick that up in a tackle zone. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way, though. Not in my watch. Okay, so, what do we do? This needs to be... Number one, get the zombie over here. Number two, stand the zombie up. So I can punch this guy pretty good. Werewolf. Uh, I want this werewolf here. It's just there. All right, we're not out of it yet. Things are things are scary, but again, not out of it yet. So uh, we want to tie this guy up at some point. Okay, so if we blitz right here with the werewolf, um, we get a one die chance to knock this guy over. Is that something I want? Is that accomplished for me? Um, yeah, this is pretty rough. Okay, let's go stand by you. Tie him up. So if we stand him up, we can bash. If I bash and blitz and it works, grab the ball. Which way do I run then? Well, this is actually now the safe side. As crazy as that is, I bring these guys over. Alternatively, I blitz frenzy push. Ball moves, though. That's a bit dangerous. Okay, let's do it this way. Oh, shit. Sorry. Let's stand up the werewolf. Yep, that's good. Let's go for a blitz. How do I? Blitz. This is a blitzer, of course it is. So we got a 1 in 6 chance to take him out. I'm gonna go for it, though. Oh, fuck me. Alright, never mind. That is a score for them. But, you know, the thing is, it's it's definitely a score for them, but there's always a chance they roll, like, the ones I've been rolling. But then they won't. Yeah, so here it is. Yeah, let's touch down. And there's no way for me to score like this. Uh, it's, the thing is, like, Necromantic isn't high average risk. No chance in hell of succeeding until you get, like, SPP. But oh well, we got there. I mean, I do have two turns, right? I got some werewolves. But, odds are very low of us coming out on top here. I mean, 
I would need something like something like this. I need to beat the shit out of them on the line. And this side's less defended, because we've killed a few people already. Um, something like that. Quick snap. The offense! Hey! Well, that's up map nice. I can't block though, right? Yeah. But I can move my characters. That's interesting. So where's the ball coming down? Way the fuck over there. Alright. Well, it's gonna help the zombies a fair amount. It's weird, there's no dodge roll. Okay, get there. Uh, we'll just stick here, I think. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Please go outside. Oh, fuck you. Oh, well. So, we can do this, we can do the pass. Alright, not impossible, guys. Just very unlikely. Really? Again, I don't know why I get a one die block here. This guy doesn't have guard. Or anything that stops, like, my flesh golem from... Again, so this guy's not getting the die from the flesh golem. Like, that's just bugged as fuck. No idea what's going on. Oh well. Guess I gotta do it that way. Just not how I wanted to do it, but... Um, the interesting thing is neither team has a fucking reroll. So, you know. Okay, this is good. This is good. And again, neither team has exactly a good thing, right? But at the same time, not a bad thing. Um because it means both teams knows where they're at. Unfortunately, it ends up being a bad thing for us. Um, because, you know, we're the guys who need to pull the play out of our ass. But at least, again, uh, we know where we're coming from. This should be a fairly safe... Yeah, there we go, knock him down. That's good. I'm gonna move our guy here. So, I really want to throw out these blocks, and I'm going to, but we have to do the risky plays first. Like, that's the sad part. What, can you not pick up the ball and do a pass? Is I need you to have the ball. Or go on me, just do a little toss. Yes, it's me, if you could. Come on. Good pick. Oh! Yes! Beautiful! Oh, she is gorgeous. That's what I like to see, boys. Because that can get me up here. So who could stop me? You? Maybe you. Can we get to any of those players? No, because we're slow as fuck. But the thing is, we got the ball pretty far. And we can safely put that here. So, okay, again, um, movement 8. So I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. So I gotta move it up fucking here to score next turn. At least. Um... That's too risky. He can blitz and knock us out of it. That's safer. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not good. That's actually somehow safer than putting it here. 
Uh, well, in that case, then I want him in this tile. Uh, oh shit! Fuck. Yeah, move, please. Okay. Well, that was a bit of a rough turn. I mean, there's no way this werewolf makes it. But there, there's a chance, and we got the ball closer, and that's the big thing. Because they're definitely going to blitz with the blitzer here. Uh, if I had another minute on my timer, I might have been able to figure something out. See, this isn't impossible. Um, they're going to move this guy, I would imagine. No? Yeah, there's the blitz. Kind of obvious. We might get lucky. Again, no rerolls. No, we didn't get lucky. <sighs> of course not. Um, and then they just ended their turn for no goddamn reason. Probably because they know we can't win. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's fucking shitty. But there's nothing we could do. Dark Elves are a very strong team early on. Um... So... I guess we can just try and kill a bunch of them. That's probably our best bet. So the other problem with two rerolls and not breaking any of their armor because they're all um, fucking dark elves, but oh well. Because we've knocked a lot of them down. We've got a lot of stuns. Oh, here we go. Injury, please. It was a, it was a stun. Yeah. They don't have a thick skull or anything, they're just very lucky. Come on, Zelfus. Get revenge, man. No. Cause I don't think this counts, like right here. I would fucking love it though. Try doing some stupid stuff. Sometimes stupid stuff works, right? I'm pretty sure that's not a touchdown. But... Nah, that's the best way to go. Oh, well. oh, what the fuck? And then Bulmek gets injured, punching this guy in the face. Damaged back. Oh, that's fine. Oh, he regenerated, thank god. I wouldn't even care, those zombies are garbage, so... You know, it's one of those things. You don't really matter so much if you lose them out. So the enemy now gets to turn and just punch us back. And that's that. We uh, we lose our first round. That's all right, guys. You know, we got in there. Necromantic, not the easiest team out of the gate. Um, I was really hoping we'd play against, like, dwarves or chaos. But it's okay. This is where they get a random injury on us. There we go. Right at the end. No, thank god. And the funny thing is, like, if they didn't work potentially. Nice. Good job, Zelfs. KO'd. It'd be nice if we got a couple of those earlier in the match, but, uh. That's pretty good money, actually. Cool. That's enough to buy a uh, ghoul for the team. Yeah, GG. I mean, we got there. Look at that, eh? 12 fucking armor breaks. Just one injury. It's crazy. Your team's been eliminated from the competition. I know. Believe me. Uh, well, 
it's us versus another us. That's really boring, actually. Let's dip from this one. Wait, hang on. Are they using ghouls? Uh, never mind. That's funny, actually. Alright, we can do it. When you play against, like, if you're necromantic and you play against a team with necromants, like another necromantic, it's it's interesting because you just kill the ghouls and then you just kind of laugh. But, um... I wonder if I can change any of my stuff afterwards. No sponsor. Hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. They didn't used to have this in the first... Well, they kind of did. In the sort of Blood Bowl Plus mode. Hey, Sharky, how you doing? Anyway, no, I'm going to um, probably call it, guys. I hate doing that, but... No, I'm exhausted. It was a long day, and uh, again, I didn't get any sleep. So, take it easy, everyone. I'm going to dip out for now, but I'll see you tomorrow, as always. And yeah, try and get some good sleep, everyone.